stroke work. It's a great way to warm up the shoulders and other parts of the body, depending on what you're doing as well, for almost anything. So Leanne's going to take her hands into the two top ropes, the wide ones there. She's going to walk forward so that the arms are straight, shoulder blades are moving down, and she's getting a nice opening through the front of the shoulder and the front of the chest area. Standing tall, feet are in place in Tadasan, but six to eight inches apart, with the tailbone moving down. And extending back. Well, the rope will extend you back. You don't have to do anything. You're just holding on to the rope. And stay there for and breathe, feeling the chest opening. The second one we're going to do is going to walk back. You can hold that for a couple of minutes. And we're going to cross the ropes over. So you can hold the right rope with the left hand, left rope with the right hand. Same action. This is stronger, so it may not be appropriate if you have ropes for everybody. And the hand walks forward again. Tailbone down, looking to see that the two shoulder blades are moving down. Hands feel equal and keeping the wrist straight. So again, just breathing into it. So you let the fascia, the muscles expand at the front of the body, the front of the shoulder opening, and the back shoulder is engaged. So you're not just hanging there. It's just giving you the awareness of drawing your shoulder blades into the body and down. They'll be pushed there, but you engage and feel it. Okay, now walk back. Go back to the first position of the hands. So when you cross the ropes over, you take the right rope with the left hand and the left rope with the right hand. This brings, this forces the arms to come a little closer than they were before. We, I've got Leanne's arms facing down because they can actually face different ways they can face each other as well but for this shoulder movement today I'm going to work with them there if you come and look at the shoulder blade or the middle of Leanne's back we want the shoulder blades released away from the other oh, trapezius muscle away from the ears and the shoulder blades moving nicely onto the body in she will get a grip that makes her understand that this has to come down okay Let them cock a bit. Grab the grab the rip. Just grab like that, yeah. So that you can, if you're tight in the shoulders or even the elbows, so you can feel the hand will do this, and you won't even be cocked, but you won't even know that it's happening. So you have to get, or somebody has to see that you have the underside wrist. The wrist is extended. Stay sacred. That's it. So that this is long. Okay. There's different things that I could talk about with the elbows, this is another issue, but for the general movement today, that's what we're going to do. 